Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today is a bit of a compilation video because I was going through footage and I realized that I did not show these two uh, jigsaw puzzles on video yet and I had actually filmed them. I moved them from my regular kind of to-do pile to my speed puzzling pile in practice for the New Zealand Masters Games where I competed at speed puzzling a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. I'll explain during the voiceovers why I moved each one of these to that speed puzzling to-do pile and I still wanted to show them on camera because I have a question for you all. Maybe a little bit of a debate. One of these is now my fastest speed puzzling time for a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. And I want your opinion as to which one I should consider it to be. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but trust me, if you watch and listen, it will come all together. So just quickly, the two puzzles in question, I have a Cloudberries 1000 piece Epicurean jigsaw puzzle. And the other one is by Crocodile Creek, which I realize is a brand that I haven't featured yet on the channel. This one's called World. So yeah, you're going to see the footage of me speed puzzling both of these. I'll discuss them during the time lapse. And then I have a question because I, don't know. I don't know which one I should consider to be my now new fastest speed puzzling time. So for the love of puzzles, let's just jump right in and let's see what you all think afterwards. So this was my first jigsaw puzzle from the brand Crocodile Creek. And I really, I did, I really enjoyed it. The image is beautiful, it's bright, it's colorful. The artist's name is Jennifer Maravillas. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. The reason why I decided to move to the speed puzzling practice pile is I felt the image was very similar to the Educa Around the World image. And so the voiceover would be rather repetitive. This one is called World, and I love that it came with an insert poster, a really good size poster. And on the other side, it actually has labeled about 71 different items from like the Great Wall of China and Galapagos tortoises. tortoises. And so I thought that was really cute. It, it was a nice jigsaw puzzle, and it included penguins and a kiwi from New Zealand, so you know I love that. The one thing, though, it's a perfect grid cut, but nowhere near as crumbly as the Educa jigsaw puzzle. But I wish there was, there was a lot of variety in piece cuts, but I wish they were just a bit more funkily shaped so that they're not just in a perfect grid, which makes it easier to just have them crumble apart on you. Also, the pieces were quite glossy and I do not prefer a glossy finish. I like when it's more matte, but what you'll see and what frustrated me and the reason why I didn't make a full video of this is that I forgot to plug in my GoPro to the Volta hand grip and that's what has the extra battery to help it last for nearly five hours and so the battery on the GoPro died and the footage just cuts out but because I was in speed puzzling mode I did not notice and so you'll see the footage just ends and I was so gutted because this is the perfect image for my build as I sort technique. It appears slow to start, but then it just came together all nicely and the picture developed. In fact, there was very few things that I actually sorted out. There were some greenery pieces, there were some sky and like the ice, so some bluish whitish pieces. And then there were some of the rocky ground, like the darker brownie red colors. Besides that, I was able to pick up a piece, figure out where it went and plop it down. And the more I looked at the image, the more it stuck in my head, the less I had to eventually look at the image. And it just came together. It came together so well that it was my fastest 1000 piece time. And that's why I'm gutted. Three hours and eight minutes. Now, you know, I have no reason to lie to you. So I hope you believe me when I say three hours, eight minutes. That's my fastest time for a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. 
After that, it was three hours, 13 minutes for grandiose grease uh, from Ravensburger. And then my third fastest time is the three hour, 31 minute from the New Zealand Masters Games puzzle. But here I was, I didn't have complete footage and proof that I did complete it in three hours, eight minutes, and so close to being under three hours. I was so pleased, but I did take a photo of the finished puzzle with my timer because my timer went, at least I learned to properly plug in my timer. Goodness, there's just too many things to think of when I'm trying to speed puzzle. And I thought I had the GoPro properly plugged in and I didn't and I'm, I'm really gutted about that. I love this image and I would have loved to have it all shown on camera how it came together so beautifully. Now, the second one I did was a Cloudberries jigsaw puzzle. The reason why I moved it to my speed puzzling practice pile is because I had just done a Cloudberries video. I didn't feel the need to do another full Cloudberries video. So this one's called Epicurean and the artist is Wooly Chen. Cloudberries puzzles come with a full size poster and I taped it down and I built the jigsaw puzzle on top of the poster because I was wondering whether or not this would be an advantage. Now I will admit it did not help me at all for like the solid colored areas or areas with you know, very similar repeated patterns. So you can see as I'm building this jigsaw puzzle, I'm trying to put every piece in place as I can, apart from the blues from like, I, I believe it's actually wallpaper on the back wall, the whites of the pavlova, and there's like a tablecloth on the table, those pieces, those are the only pieces that are pretty much sorted out. The rest of them, I was able to pretty much build as I went. It was great. The poster was right there. I did tape it down. So my question is, what do you think about this? Now, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I do not believe there's any way to cheat at puzzling. If it takes you five days, five minutes, five months, if you start a puzzle, don't like it, don't finish it, put it back in the box. If you only do small puzzles, if you do giant puzzles, if you look at the picture, don't look at the picture. I don't care. If you are having fun, that's what matters. However, in a speed puzzling situation, there are rules you have to follow. And I was just curious as to whether or not this would be allowed in competition. Because recently at the New South Wales competition in Australia, I believe it was sponsored by La La Land. I do have a La La Land jigsaw puzzle in my stash. I got it for Christmas. I have yet to open it. It'll appear in a haul coming up soon. And it comes with a poster. I believe all their puzzles come with a poster that's pretty much the size of the jigsaw puzzle. So I was wondering whether or not anyone at the competition had used the poster in the sense, had they put it down on the table and built on top. I would love to hear from you. Were you at that competition? And did you build the jigsaw puzzle on top of the poster, yes or no? So what I did is I reached out to Diarn. Diarn is amazing. She's great. She's always been so helpful. She runs the Australian Jigsaw Puzzle Association. They're just amazing over there. I wish we had such an association here in New Zealand. And she's also the vice president of the World Jigsaw Puzzle Federation. So I can't wait to meet her in Spain when we go in um, September. And that's going to be so great. So I asked her and she did say that some people did build on top of the poster at the New South Wales competition and that they were allowed to do so at their competitions. So I thought, okay, okay. So that's why I'm wondering how many people actually did it or didn't do it. She did say that she'd be surprised if it was faster to build that way. But she was interested in the topic, wondering, hmm, would it really be a difference? Well, from my point of view, I thought it definitely helped. It definitely helped me because I'm very much build as I sort the busy parts of the puzzle. It was great because it was right there and I just placed the pieces on top. I realize in the video, it might be hard to actually see that, but trust me, that's what's happening. 
the only part it didn't help me so much like I said for solid color areas or areas with a lot of repeating patterns so if you look at the timer I've written this down hopefully I have it correct about the two hour and 28 minute mark I only have those dark blue pieces left I knocked this puzzle out it was awesome I couldn't believe it and in fact those blue pieces though caused me such a headache Typical of the previous Cloudberry Jigsaw puzzle I did. False fits. Oh, just, just problematic. Just, yeah, I did not enjoy the solid blue area. It took me an extra 30 minutes just to do those pieces. Were there 100? Maybe at most 150 dark blue pieces. I really had most of the puzzle done. But I had tons of trouble in that last 30 minutes. I was getting frustrated. And... In the end, this is now my fastest time for a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. Two hours, 58 minutes, I just broke the three hour mark. But I can't decide whether or not I really want to consider it as my fastest time because I did use the poster. But if you go to competitions in Australia, that's allowed if a poster is included. So I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I'll caveat this, obviously, you see it on camera. I built on top of the poster, two hours, 58 minutes. 30 minutes just to do the solid color blue area, goes to show it doesn't help you much there. But the rest of it, it, it was great. What are your thoughts? Like, I don't, we don't need to argue and debate. I just want people's thoughts and ideas. Should it be allowed at competitions? I mean, if it's allowed, then everyone can do it, so it's fair game. Do you think it would actually help you go faster? I felt it did. For me, you know, this is my fastest time. But then again, 2.58, my second fastest time now, 3.08. That's only a difference of 10 minutes. But that solid color blue, yeah, that, that, that did my head in. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on the whole idea. What do you think? Have you done a puzzle this way? Would you do it at a competition? Should I consider it my fastest speed puzzling time? Yes or no? Leave your comments below. And again, I want to thank Dion. She's amazing. She does so much for the jigsaw puzzling community. And I can't wait to meet her. And uh, yeah, so that's what happened with this Cloudberries jigsaw puzzle. What do you think? Is my new fastest time 258 with the Cloudberries Epicurean, or because it's kind of a one-off that I used the poster, should I consider the Crocodile Creek World three hours and eight minutes as my new fastest time? I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit torn, I'll admit, because it's the only one I've done with a poster in such a fashion. Let me know, leave your comments below. And what do you think? Would you build on top of a poster? Have you done it? Did you feel it gave you any advantage? Was it easier? I know there's only about 10 minutes difference between the two puzzles, but I do believe if it wasn't for those solid blue pieces, I would have knocked this out a lot faster. And when I was re-watching the footage, I got frustrated just watching, trying to deal with those solid blue pieces. They drove me crazy. But yeah, leave your comments below. Let, let me know what you think. 258, 308. I don't know. And I just want to say thank you again to Diarn. She was so very helpful and she does so much for the Jigsaw Puzzle community. I'll leave a link to the Australian Jigsaw Puzzle Association's website down below. Go check them out. They have so many membership benefits. I wish we had such an association here in New Zealand. And you don't have to be into speed puzzling. A lot of their benefits will just benefit you if you're into jigsaw puzzles in general. So go check them out. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!